<laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So we've got a lot of work to do to fix the international tax system, and I'm looking forward to working with my colleagues here to do that. A good place to start is to be clear about the extent to which giant corporations are already manipulating the tax code to avoid paying their fair share. Dr. Clausing, between 2018 and 2020, what was the corporate income tax rate? Corporate tax rate was 21%, the regular rate. Okay, 21%. So Dr. Clausing, how much profit did Amazon make and what tax rate did Amazon pay during that same three-year period? So there was a recent ITEP study that looked at this and Amazon earned over $40 billion over that three-year period and paid about 4.5% tax rate. Okay, so how is it possible that Amazon was able to rake in profits like that and pay only a four, I think it's about a 4.3% tax rate when the corporate income tax rate was 21%? Yeah, so there are lots of reasons that, that we've discussed in this hearing today about why U.S. companies end up with very low tax burdens. And I think that the one that we're focusing on here the most is the international profit shifting problem. And, and Amazon, as well as many other companies, have benefited from the favorable treatment that our tax code provides for, for international profit shifting. There are also other reasons why companies pay less in tax. Those might include uh, receiving large R&D uh, credits, or having losses in past years that might reduce their tax liability, or we're um, paying a lot of stock compensation, which is uh, favorably treated in, in tax laws as well. Okay, so you've you've given us the technical names. I think probably the rest of us would call them loopholes and tax shelters that they've used to drive down their liability. But let me ask: Is this kind of manipulation that Amazon used unusual? Yeah, I would say there's a wide recognition that the kinds of loopholes that we've been talking about today are very common, and there's a lot of agreement on this. So some of our witnesses have focused on disagreement, but I would point out that the American Enterprise Institute, the Tax Policy Center, uh, economists at OTA, uh, the Treasury, and economists at the JCT, they all agree that, that profit shifting is a very large problem, and they put out uh, revenue estimates that suggest uh, very similar magnitudes across all of those different organizations. Okay. So this is a very common and a very large problem, um, and I think that's why it's so important to have uh, this hearing today is to be able to address, you know, this rampant uh, avoidance of tax. So, so let me ask then, Ms. Wong, if we apply just a flat 7% tax on the more than $20 billion in profits that Amazon reported to investors in 2020, Amazon would have paid nearly $1.5 billion more in taxes. If we applied a 7% flat tax to the more than 1,000 corporations that reported more than $100 million in profits, would that help ensure that big companies paid their fair share regardless of loopholes and other tax avoidance schemes? Well, Senator, that, that's an idea that just makes so clear how easy it is for companies to control what they report on paper, uh, whether it's for tax purposes or whether it's for financial reporting purposes. And as you're pointing out, sometimes neither of those pieces of paper can reflect what's going on in the real world. Um, and as Dr. Klausing said, you can try and get at that by making them both look more like the real world or as in your proposal, you can target the gap between them, which could also be thought of as a backstop on the first approach. Um, so I, I think that makes crystal clear what, what the problem is. Yeah, well, you know, something has to change. And I'm all for raising the corporate tax rate. I'm all for closing loopholes. I'm all for shutting down tax havens. But we also need to recognize that corporations will never stop trying to bend the rules. You know, when you plug one loophole, they're gonna bring in armies of lawyers and lobbyists and accountants to try to find another one. A small tax on profits, like the number that CEOs like to brag about, their, their book profits, would ensure that even the companies that are most skilled at gaming the tax code would have to contribute a fair share. Uh, President Biden agrees, and he has proposed a similar tax on book profits. And in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be introducing legislation to make a tax on book profits for the largest, most profitable companies in America a reality. I think it's time for this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.